Welcome back to wagertalk.com. I'm your host, Marco D'Angelo, joined in studio with my partner in crime, Brian Leonard. NFL action on Sunday. We've got Oakland traveling to play my Pittsburgh Steelers. We've got Ben Roethlisberger back last week, but we lost Le'Veon Bell, and that's, that's a big blow for the Steelers, Brian. Definitely was, and that was a game the Steelers needed to have. They were so far behind Cincinnati already. Uh, line was roughly pick them in that game. It was a situational play for Pittsburgh. You would have had to play Pittsburgh. You think this is the time the Steelers come to play. Unfortunately, it didn't happen. Cincinnati continues to prove people wrong. They're playing great this season. Cincinnati is playing great. And unfortunately for Pittsburgh, they caught Cincinnati at the worst possible time. Yeah, we got Ben Roethlisberger back last week, but he had missed a month. So, yeah. I mean, he's not going to be as sharp as he would have been. And then for the flip side, the schedule makers gave the bye week to Cincinnati the week before. So they had two weeks to prepare for virtually, in my opinion, and, you know, your Cleveland Browns are in the same division. That wrapped up the division title. I and mean, they got a three-game lead and the tiebreaker, and we're at the halfway point of the season. It's going to be tough for anybody to catch them. They were not only coming off a bye, they have a semi-bye this week because they get to play Cleveland at home on a Thursday. And if anybody's watched these videos, we know the road team on a Thursday is a major disadvantage. Yeah, the only – shot that uh, Cleveland might have on that Thursday night game, and of course we're taping on Wednesday here, uh, is the fact that maybe Cincinnati just celebrating a little bit the Pittsburgh game. But if I remember correctly, didn't Cleveland embarrass them on a Thursday night last year? Yeah, I don't see any reason to play Cleveland. In <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get back to this one, Pittsburgh and Oakland. And, uh, you know, losing Le'Veon Bell, obviously, is going to hurt the Steeler offense. But in for this game, I think it helps me for what I want to do in this game. And I had this circled this week. I said, if I get what I think is going to happen last week, it's going to set this one up for the total. And last week, it was a division game. It was basically a playoff type game for the mm -hmm. Steelers. So you know you're going to get all of that intensity. The fact that Ben Roethlisberger was coming back a month off, a little bit of rust, I didn't think that they were going to go into that game with a game plan and try to play a shootout game with Cincinnati. They played, you know, old school defensive type game, run the football, take some of the pressure off Ben in his first game back. But unfortunately, they lose their key weapon in Le'Veon Bell in the game. Cincinnati being a division rival, both teams know each other well. When you've got big games and it's division rivals like that and you play each other two times a year, and like when it happens with Baltimore, how many times Pittsburgh and Baltimore have hooked up three times in the same year, it's a situation you know each other's strengths and weaknesses, so it's tougher to exploit anything because everybody knows what the other one's going right. to do. But when you get out of division play and then you go and play a team that you don't play that often, I think you see more of a – you know, uh, tendency for the games to go over. And that's what I'm looking at in this one and talking about Oakland. What about Derek Carr? What a breakout season for him. He's having a great season. He's got, well, all it took was a couple of wide receivers. Uh, mm -hmm. Keep that in mind, Cleveland Browns. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's, o Oakland's one of these teams, and we've talked about this in the past where you've got the West Coast playing in an East Coast time zone. It's been disproven. There's no, nothing to it except for Oakland. Oakland's the one team coming out of the West Coast that never seems to play well in the Eastern time zone. We're looking at the line as we're taping this. It's roughly four right now. Mm -hmm. I was really surprised the line has gotten down that far. There's a lot of Oakland it believers right now. It opened now. bigger than that. It opened bigger than yeah. that. Uh, it's been a lot of money coming in on Oakland, but you have a Pittsburgh team without your best running back. I mean, they've, they've had some injuries along the way, but I think there's some value coming up on Pittsburgh here because I think it's a little bit of an overreaction. Uh, I probably won't play the game, but I'm leaning with Pittsburgh. It gets down to three and a half. You may have to force me to put some money on Pittsburgh in this one. Well, my heart's leaning with Pittsburgh in the game, and my projected score is Pittsburgh 31-27. I'm right at the number, okay. so I'm not, not getting anywhere there. But I do love the over here. I think this is a situation where Pittsburgh is going to air it out, partially because of necessity. Uh, they're not going to have, you know, they got Williams back there, but it's not a situation they want to get it. Ben's going to go to his wide receivers, and he's got, I feel, one of the best sets of wide receivers in the league. Antonio Brown, you know, he's having a quiet year because Michael Vick and Landry Jones has been uh, right. trying to throw him the football. That doesn't work. You'll see Ben get them the football, the wideouts. And the secondary of the Steelers has been camouflaged a little bit because of the defensive games the last couple of weeks, the low-scoring games. Oakland likes to spread the field. They're going to attack it. Arizona put up 414 yards passing against 
this secondary a couple weeks ago. I think Oakland has a similar day. I'm taking it over. That's going to be my video best bet this week. And guys, if you want to check it out, Saturday I've got my 5% college masker game. We've got it going the last few weeks with the college. Our NFL's been good all season long. We hit our game of the year last Saturday. Join me. We're going to go for three in a row in college football on the 5% this Saturday. Check it out at wagertalk.com. And don't forget, you can pick that up as part of the $69 all-access package. Be sure to check out all the videos and podcasts over at wagertalk.com.